Hi everyone, James Hudson here. Welcome to my YouTube channel, hashtag always learning on a very wet Wednesday afternoon. Um, I've got to be honest with you today, I feel absolutely rubbish. Uh, sore throat, blocked nose, banging headache. Um, to be honest with you, I think I might be coming down with man flu. Um, so, uh, but I'm too busy to be ill. So um, press on as, as you do. Um, so what have I been up to today? Today I've been uh, with a client of mine uh, who are going through a major change program at the moment. Um, they're basically almost doubling the size of their workforce and bringing in um, a million new customers uh, over the course of the next year. Um, what I love about this client is that we're really taking the time now to understand and do training needs analysis and understand exactly what they require, who needs training, what do they need training on, uh, and take them on the journey with us. Um, whereas I find with, uh, or I have found in the past that uh, everything is kind of last minute and training is the last thing that people think about when, uh, when there's a big organizational change. Uh, so it's been refreshing to work with them and, uh, and look at all the plans that they're gonna create uh, that we're creating for, for next year. Um, the other thing I've been spending a lot of time today thinking about is the Learning and Development Mastermind. So I'm delighted that we've got our first Chester Mastermind, uh, which is going to be on the 19th of December. So really excited about that. Um, and really thinking about how we move it forward uh, into the new year. I always said I was going to do a year of running the masterminds and then from there make some decisions uh, on, on what the future look like so I'm starting to piece together a vision for it um, but I'm keen to hear from uh, from all of you about what uh, you know those of you who are in learning and development what kind of things would help you uh, and what kind of things would you want from a mastermind uh, and what kind of things would help you to grow and develop as a learning and development professional uh, what kind of things would help you uh, save you time maybe connect you with the right people all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in getting involved or uh, you have some thoughts around that, uh, get in touch. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, okay, that's it from me for today. So uh, it's goodbye for now and speak to you soon.